So this is how to build your first rocket and space flight simulator. Number one, engine, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank. Next, side boosters, it's a brace, Hawk engine, fuel tank, fuel tank, fuel tank, aerodynamics, separator, valiant engine, fuel tank, separator, heat shield, capsule, Actually, no players, I'm going to teach you how to clip. Okay, to clip parts, let's say I'm trying to make some, make some thing like this. But instead, when I launch, that other thing I'm trying to combine just disappears. This is how you must select one part and then put the other part in and then select the other parts and then there you go. You clipped parts without the other parts getting deleted. Okay, now let's do the same of that to the capsule. Okay, I'm just clipping the parachutes because I wanted to have a abort system. In the last Kinex staging, Just putting that for a cool stage separation. Does cool stage separation. <clears throat> okay. Now let's launch the first rocket. Okay, we need to go to the angle. Okay, now we have to go 40. Is there more infinite fuel? <clears throat> okay, you don't have to put a board system, it's just how I want it. Okay. You must turn the rocket to the right angle. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, I messed up a bit. Let's do it again. Okay, do you know that you can adjust the fuel? Mm -hmm. 
okay the tip is always have lower side boosters the side boosters shouldn't be so high or else you'll get cold or else your rockets will have a collision course okay Okay, we use some engine thing to push the first stage down. Next, burn the second stage. And then there you go. Now it's time to head back home. I used to thought that re-entry is only for pros because come back to Earth when you go to the moon. Or Mars when you go come back to the, to the Earth from the moon. But I found out it's actually that easy. Okay, please do not place a course like it's placed on this video. This line is the course. Put it at the atmosphere for a safer landing. Put it at the atmosphere and not the surface for a safer landing because of atmospheric drag. The flow of air can make it go slower. See... The velocity slowing. Do you recognize something about the velocity? It's slowing down. That, mean not, that means you're going less miles a second. So. Your velocity must so now we're going to now we're going to us speed of uh, 24 miles a second now what happens if we develop it fully? Now we're going to a speed about six miles a second. Have, do you have an idea that heat shields are separatable? You don't need to separate a heat shield. I'll cut my parachute. Because I think that, because I like to simulate splashdown. Next, if you want to know how to dock, here it is, the tutorial. So first, you're going to need a rocket. Let's replace crew 
system with a docking port. This is the docking phase. If you want to build a space station, well, you need to learn docking. RCS is important. I think you're going to need a second stage. Okay, as you s see, RCS is for maneuvering, probably pushes bits of the gas. Take the angle. Now, once our course reaches out the atmosphere, we don't need to do the roll program anymore. <laughs> okay, do you notice it? Two arrows far and two arrows back. Well, that means time warp. You can even tap on the location to time warp. There. Location on your course. Let's. Okay. Now, uh, docking is simple and easy if you do it correctly. Need to place the first spacecraft. Spacecraft one. Spacecraft one. Okay. Since the power bar got removed, yeah, very sad to me. Now, we're just using solar panels to pretend that the power bar is still here. A docking secondary dock let's do secondary docking on the part two of the beginner of the beginners tutorial bye hope you learned about spaceflight simulator